If you have check washer fluid on your Mercedes and you add fluid and it still stays on, stay with us, we'll explain how to fix that. guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a mercedes guys it could be any mercedes model if you have a message on the dash that says check washer fluid stay with us we'll explain guys how to do that how to add washer fluid and if you add it and you still get that message we'll explain what else could be causing that uh, uh, that warning guys all that will be covered in this video today before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We're constantly getting new cars, we're constantly working on something. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. And if you need to buy any parts, tools for your car, Mercedes, any model guys, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools, supplies from and you can guys save a fortune so we'll demonstrate guys on that mercedes c-class that we have right here but it will work on multiple mercedes models so let me show you what we have here specifically if i come inside you turn the ignition switch on or even when you open the door you're going to see okay check this thing out check washer fluid okay that's the message right there guys check washer fluid so what can cause that now okay let's go ahead we're going to open the hood, okay, and we'll show you what we have, okay, there specifically. Okay, perfect, just like that. Once you open the hood on your Mercedes, guys, you're going to look for something usually uh, blue like that, okay, with a sprayer. You can see that's a windshield, that's the washer fluid reservoir. Now, ours is empty, guys, okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead, okay, show you how we're going to add some. And if your warning still stays on, we'll explain what else could be causing that. We would recommend to use only Mercedes-Benz approved formula, guys, because otherwise, okay, it can mess with the pump, hoses, things like that. So we're opening ours now and we're going to go ahead and start adding it. Uh, now you can see it's pretty wide, even if you spill some it's fine, okay? Uh, but if it's in the garage or something like that, clean it. So kids, pets or anything like that, do not try to taste that stuff or get it on their skin. So we're just going to go ahead, add it, okay? It takes quite a bit guys, this is a big, uh, big reservoir on most Mercedes vehicles over a gallon in some cases okay let's check it out it's still going yep right there now i can see the level right there it's practically almost all the way to the top now guys if okay i go inside that message should be gone but if it's not what else can be causing that okay let's explain that now let's keep the hood open because i want to show you something okay if i come and even close the door now okay that message is completely gone you can see it's not here anymore but for some reason if that message comes on guys again give it a little bit of time sometimes the sensor if it's been dry for a long time it may not detect it uh, right away we've seen that happen but other than that it could be a bad uh, level sensor washer fluid level sensor we have a video how to replace it okay it means that it's either the wire is disconnected broken or the sensor is bad if you want to see how to uh, check the washer fluid level sensor how to replace it videos will be on our channels guys we have more than 9,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you guys that have a Mercedes. It could be any Mercedes practically, four or six, eight cylinder, diesel, gasoline. Uh, if you have that message, that's how you get uh, rid of it. That's how you add washer fluid. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.